Welcome to Musings Television, where your host, Fabian, invites you to bloom with a new perspective that will encourage, uplift, and inspire. Here he is with today's Musings. trying to do which is big uh sorry cake first time i'll be doing this actually um so i bought some sorry and i drew it it to enjoy the juice but when i was you know squeezing out the thing i realized that hey i could use this to make a sorry cake never done it before so i decided i'm gonna try it um so with the ingredients that i have we're going to delve into the concoction of making a sour cake. So what I have done before, I had about eight ounces of butter um, left from some garlic bread that I, I did for Christmas. So I decided I would use that with some sugar and I had granulated sugar. So that's about probably a cup or just less than a cup of granulated sugar um, which I have sought to combine here in my mixing bowl as the first step towards the mixture, I'll shortly be adding two eggs and I have prepped already some two cups of flour in this dish here, chiffon or quart, quart, quart dish, ice cream, coming out actually, but that's aside. <laughs> So here you have about two cups of flour, two cups of baking powder, some baking soda, and some um, nutmeg um, combined as the dry ingredients for the mixture. And in this here we have our sorrel. Looks like sorrel chutney, not sure. So this is what is going to go into the well, the main ingredient for the sorrel cake, of course, the sorrel. So what I did was to soak this in a little bit of rum, white rum, a little bit of red label wine that I had, and I also combined some vanilla, uh, mixed spice, and uh, what is it again? Cinnamon extract um, in this mixture. So I intend to use my, my um, hand blender to kind of get this more refined before I add it to the, the rest of the mixture and the, the dry ingredients. So, I also have here some prunes that I have chopped that I'm going to introduce, where am I off with me? Introduce to the, the mix. So, without further ado, let's get cracking with our sorry cake. And, of course, Happy New Year to all of you subscribers or those of you who come across this video and watch it. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel as hopefully during the course of 2023 I'll be able to upload more videos that will offer encouraging, inspiring and um, uplifting content um, whether it be through vlogs or my experts in the kitchen or just musings generally from my mind. So as we enter 2023, I want us to push through the doubt. Your success awaits you on the other side. Let that be your motto for 2023. Let that be my motto for 2023. We're going to push through the doubt. Oftentimes we don't do things because we doubt ourselves, we doubt our ability, we doubt our capacity to do it. But if we can get over the hurdle of doubt, and just start doing, build capacity by doing, we'll be surprised, we'll surprise ourselves at the, the, the extent to which we can achieve and overcome those things that we previously thought that we could not do. We really realize that we can do them. It's a, it's a matter of us just deciding that we're going to do them and take positive action towards accomplishing those things that we otherwise tell ourselves that we cannot do. I also have some lemon rind or zest that I have grated of the lemon that I'm going to also add to the mixture um, to give it some flavor, etc. 
So here we have again about eight ounces of butter and about I'd say half cup of sugar. Um, I don't want to this too sweet anyway. And as a matter of fact, I would have put sprinkled a bit of sugar in this already. Um, before, so you would put say that it probably will work out to about a half a cup of sugar that will be used. So we are adding our eggs to the party now. Or two eggs. I'm not using more than two because it's not a lot of butter anyway. Um, and some eggs here spilled on my shirt. So we're going to combine these two eggs into the mixture. And because it's only two eggs, and it's not a lot of butter, and um, all sugar that needs to be combined, this comes in and then heat it into the sugar and the egg. The sugar and the butter of the egg will not need to be done for an extended period of time. The next step is that we bring all the ingredients or dry ingredients to the mix. So the last thing that, um, or the second to last thing that I add to the mix is the, the soil. After I have used my hand blender to try and get it more, you know, a bit smoother. So we're going to start adding our dry ingredients into our beaten butter, sugar, and eggs. And so we can put in half of it before, well, first, and combine that, and then we'll do the remainder after we have combined this portion into the mix. So I'm thinking that it will come out quite light and fluffy. I don't want to be too heavy. So hopefully that objective will achieve as we prepare our soil. And again, sometimes we don't know how things are going to come out in life generally. And as we enter into a new year, we can't predict the future. There are those who will go to fortune tellers, etc. I don't know how effective those things are, but certainly life unfolds. Life unfolds like a beautiful rose. It unfolds like flowers that basically over time you see a flower when you just plant it begins to shoot one stem of leaves and give it a few months, couple of years, you see if it's several that have just grown out of its inner depths, so to speak. So we can't predict what will happen in 2023. But at the same time, we have to put ourselves in a position to, to strive for predictable outcomes. And by that, I mean that we, we can plan. And having planned, we can strategize. And in strategizing, we come up with tactics that we're going to use to achieve our ultimate objective, our vision, or anything that we plan, that we have on our vision boards. For 2023 that is how we're going to accomplish um, things by taking small steps towards that big goal that you have to accomplish right if you think of anything in this life nothing happens overnight it's a it's it, 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 it is a consistent building on a foundation that you would have laid that will ultimately see you being able to achieve that goal that you set out with. Whether, for example, is building a house, buying a car, you, you have to work towards the deposit. Buying a house, you have to work towards the deposit. Going to school, you have to work towards the, 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 um, the tuition. So it, it becomes a, a series of efforts, a series of small efforts, big or small efforts, that is going to be able to see you through 2023 um, in this 
you wish, if you will. But I'm not going to use the, um, the, 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 the mixer for this part because you want to hold it in. Right? You're not going to mix it in. You're going to hold this aspect of it into the mix, the butter that is already there. The butter, the sugar, and the eggs. We're just going to fold this into it. So let me take out this also. Press that there. And flash the blades before I put it in the sink. I think I want to grate some ginger into this also. I did not, when I drew the sorrel, have any ginger in it because I didn't want, well, I chose not to. What I did in drawing the sorrel was to insert a stick, a cinnamon stick into it, into, into the thing to give it a different flavor. I wanted something different than the, the regular thing. And I also introduced some pimento seed. My cousin of mine, when he, he makes a story, he normally uses pimento seed. It gives it a different flavor. So I would have used... So here we are. The color kind of gone from the red. I guess it's having met the lighter vanilla looking shade of the the, um, the butter and the sugar especially since I use white sugar the, but it's just a nice kind of um, what do you call this color now? purplish looking but the butter, the butter seems to be quite nice See, this is, I think this is, this is what you want in terms of the texture. You want it to flow from the, the spatula like that. It could be a little bit more runny, so I may still put that um, little beer in it. But I'm going to now add the prunes that I have um, just diced up a bit um, into the mix and then combine that. And I'm also going to now add my, my zest, my lemon zest, into the mixture. It's one lemon, more or less, that would have been zest or created to introduce into it. So I'm now going to just combine these. And as mentioned before, I think I want to introduce piece of ginger to the party. So let's wash this and then grate it um, into the, the mixture. So let's grate a piece of it. I'm not going to use the entire piece, but I'm sure it will give it a little bit more flavor. Um, introduce a little more flavor to the to the cake itself, the sorry cake. So we were using it as we baked, and again, one of the things that we have to be mindful of as we journey to 2023 too is to be mindful of and just through life generally, corrupting influences. Yesterday I was, I got gifted about two pounds of gumbo and I came home and I shelled them to make some new rice and peas, um, which was good, by the way. Anyway, <laughs> on the side. And in just shelling through the gumbo, it dawned on me that a piece a pot in a gumbo might have probably upwards of five grains. Is that what you call them? Yeah, grain of peas, whatever. Five, five grains. But Interestingly, in that pot of bungo, the each grain or where each nucleus of the grain is or germinates from, it is compartmented. Is that the word? Yes, so they have a different cell. Each bungo has a different cell. And I suppose that is generally for 
um, beans and things like that that goes on the vine. But each has a different cell. And what, I, what, what it struck me in, in going through and po um, what do you call it now? Podding? No, shell. The shell boom, right? Yes. In shell in the boom, boom is that you will find that there are some boom, some of the seeds, in a sense, are stillborn. In other words, they died. When, when you actually open the, the shell, you realize that they died in the, the nucleus that the, or the compartment that that particular cell, that, 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 that particular pea was. It died, it was stillborn. But at the same time, there are others that, that grew to maturity. And it, it just dawned on me how important, how important it is for us to protect ourselves against anything that will corrupt us or derail us from our goals generally. Anything that will distract us from our goals, um, we need to guard against them. So we need to, like, 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 like the boom boom, our goals, or us, even though we are part of the whole, we need to protect ourselves, even in being part of the whole, from those parts that, have, that, that would be stillborn, and in them being stillborn, could infect us, our goals, our aspirations, and then they too will become stillborn. If you get what I'm saying. So that, that just dawned on me, just from the, 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 the process of, of um, shelling the womb. That was a, like a lesson, a teachable moment that arose from that, 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 that process. That I thought was worthy of reflecting on. And as we enter a new year, and we seek to go about achieving, setting goals for ourselves, and um, bringing those goals to fruition, then we need to guard against anything that will derail us, corrupt us in the process of moving towards those targets that we'll have for ourselves in 2023. So, back to the baking. So I'm now going to combine, fold in again, the lemon zest along with my prunes. I don't have any raisins, I, have, I had some prunes in the refrigerator, so I decided to use them. Um, instead, I should, probably should have just blend them in with the, with the, um, the sorry, but hey, let's see. So, I think we have our mixture combined now, and ready for the tin. I have not yet turned on the oven, which I should probably start doing now to, to heat so that I can put the butter there in. And here we have it the sorrel, sorrel cake butter. I'm still going to put a little bailers in it. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bailers in it. Bailers in it. It's not sweet, but it's sweet to taste. <laughs> because again, I didn't use a lot of sugar in it. Um, I might just tip a bit more um, white lady in it, along with a little bit more of the red label wine that I have here. combine that and see how it might change the consistency of the butter before I add anything else, such as the, the bailies. Or maybe I should just wait until it's, it's, it's baked and then have a slice with the bailies. I probably should do that. Yeah, I'll do that instead. <laughs> so here we have it now. I think we're ready to go. We have lit it up. As astronauts we see who take to the space. 
So here we have it. So this seems like a nice consistency. Yeah. Our sorry cake is now ready. Butter is now ready for the oven. Um, yeah, I think I've added all the ingredients that I need to add to it. And I'm going to use this little pretty um, baking pan. There's my butter wrap with a little butter on it that I'm going to use to grease this. And then I'm going to dust it with a little bit of flour also. It doesn't um, stick to the pan. Then this is there. Oh, yes. Create my mess. I'm just shake it around. I want to get it on the edge, you know, in the creases. Have to do. So I'm now going to place the butter in the tin and then once the oven decides to light, sometimes it takes a while. Once it decides to light, we will then put this in the oven and bake it. At well, it's set to 350 degrees. Actually, it's now lit for about 45 minutes to an hour. And see what it comes out looking like. So, yeah. So as we enter a new year, we know that our successes are going to more or less be like baking a cake. It requires several ingredients that must come together and come together in such a way that will produce the outcome that we desire. It will produce the outcome in terms of the texture of the butter is going to determine um, greatly the, the outcome of the cake itself. But of course, the cake needs ingredients. So in this case, it would have needed butter, it would have needed sugar, it would have needed flour, baking powder, a little baking soda possibly, um, raisins, prunes if you have them, eggs, um, and spices generally that adds to the flavor um, and the, 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 the taste that you're looking for that will excite your palate and as such you'll have success in terms of the, the outcome of the key. So life generally, I would think, is not dissimilar from any of these exploits that we do in our daily life. They require effort, they require certain ingredients and those ingredients coming together to produce the results that we so desire and as such um, as we as you and I go through 2023 let's remember to push through the doubt because our successes ultimately awaits us on the other side but that success will only come when we have combined in a successful way the ingredients that are required for that goal to be achieved and we have to also guard against the derailment of those goals and aspirations by them coming into contact with corrupting elements in a sense similar to the analogy used in terms of that Google peas and the pea pod that some peas some grains of peas some peas are going to be stillborn 
in that in, 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 in the in the whole that is the pod but at the same time there are others that are going to come to maturity that you will be able to enjoy in a meal like a google rice or beans so essentially though we are part of a whole no man is an island we also have to guard our space guard our minds mentality is very important um, and it has gotten a lot of especially coming out of, out of the pandemic a lot of um, emphasis and um, visual visual what do you call it no, visuality uh, for want of a better word that persons are really now in tune and concerned with their mental health as we all should be so here from my kitchen to your ears as we muse over our sorry cake happy 2023 may all your goals be actualized and may you and i push push beyond the doubts that we harbor in our heads that tells us that we can't do something because when we push beyond them and we take small steps towards achieve, achieving them we will be so pleased at the outcome that that thing that we thought that we could not do we have the power the ability the capacity to accomplish so push push and push until the doubt the doubt come down like when Reagan told Gorbachev to tear down that Berlin wall happy 2023 i will then come back when the cake is baked and show you what it looks like on the other side and what the slice the texture looks like so signing off for now see you on the other side when it has been fully baked or sorry cake usher me 2023 so our oven is now eaten and ready to follow our cake to enter. So remember, it's 350 degrees and we're going to be for at least an hour. And you can test it as um, the baking process um, proceeds to see where it's at. So that you can know when it's done, so you, you don't get, it doesn't burn. Well, I will anyway. So we'll see you on the other side when we have, when it has finished and we allow it to cool a bit and then we will see what the texture looks like and taste, well, I have to tell you it tastes like another day. Nobody has any other taste for me. <laughs> so until then, we'll, I'll see you on the other side when it don't be Okay, so we're going to test to see if our cake is ready. It's been just about an hour of it having been in the oven. And we do that by sticking a knife into the center or some parts of it. If it comes out dry, then we know that it's done. And she fell. Let me try another side. It's done. My so what I'll just do now is turn off the oven and I'll just allow it to rest inside here for while well, I hope the oven cools down. But here we have it. Or sorry, cake. So just allow the oven to cool down a bit in there and take it out and let it on the stove top for it to cool. I must indicate that I have added some water in a pan on the in the oven to create more stress and to aid in the baking process. So let's see what the finished product will be like. So. Voila, we're back and it is partially cool. I'm going to try to um over onto this tree oh and just like that it came out so easy and here we have it or 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 just like that
let me just see. Try it out. So I have this cream cheese, but real and cream. Real and cream mm -hmm. frosting, veggie mm -hmm. proper. Uh, oh, I've decided to just give you a bit so of a little bit. Tired? What were you doing all day? For a little And you were cutting it. Tina? Yes. Let's cut it and see what it looks like. I am tired. From the inside. Why don't you want me to tell you? Listen, you are so hungry. Why don't you go into the kitchen and make something for yourself? You have hands, don't you? Voila! <laughs> so that's the finished product. Yes. The Me. sorrel cake. Me. Mm -hmm. It's still a bit warm. I mean, who says I have but to be the one to always make food for the family? See we what it tastes like. And why? And there is no rule book that says I have to be the one to always be in the kitchen. So, if you are hungry, go get yourself something. Pass it out. Mmm. Mm. This feels good. I think because I put place the water in the oven, it has this plump, kind of plump pudding um, finish. But it tastes good. Is anything like this? What is this thing that you put to come in? It's good. Mm. There you have it, this week's musings. We hope you found it encouraging, inspiring, and uplifting. Let Fabian know your thoughts by leaving a comment on this video. Do spread the word and invite others to subscribe to Musings Television. Until next week, may your hearts remain ever joyful.